Hi guys and welcome to the Family Fudge. Today on What's Cooking Wednesday, I'm sharing a quick appetizer that both kids and adults love and it's so easy to make. Literally, it only takes about 10 minutes. I'm making these easy cheeseburger bites. The trick to making these quick and easy is to use frozen meatballs. So stay tuned and I will show you how to make them. So recently we were invited to a last minute get together where I needed to bring an appetizer, something that both kids and adults would enjoy. And I saw this idea on Pinterest and I decided to put my own twist on it. I had some frozen meatballs in the freezer, so it was perfect. Here's what you're going to need. I'm starting with one bag of these frozen meatballs and these are the Angus beef ones. So they're all beef and they're flame broiled. So they have a really good flavor. I'm also going to be using about one tablespoon of olive oil, one tablespoon of butter, some slices of sharp cheddar cheese, some cherry tomatoes, and some baby pickles. Oh yes, and the lettuce. I'm also using some green leaf lettuce, and you're going to want a mini bamboo skewer. They're a little bit longer than a toothpick, but not a huge skewer either, somewhere in between. In a large pan over medium heat, I'm gonna start by drizzling in my olive oil. To this, I'm also gonna add my butter and let that melt. Next, I'm going to prepare my cheese. This is sharp cheddar cheese and it is pre-sliced. I'm gonna go ahead and just fold them so I end up with four pieces per slice. Now you could cut these if you'd like, but I like to just fold them. It's quick and easy and it gives it sort of a rustic look. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add my frozen meatballs. Now definitely you could defrost these first and that'll help them cook a lot faster. But if you're like me and you forget to defrost them, that's totally fine. Go ahead and just stick them in the pan. I'm gonna stir this around so that all the meatballs are coated in the olive oil and the butter because we want these to have a nice crust when we're done. The trick to making these extra tasty is to let them brown. You really want that nice dark color on there. It adds a lot of flavor. While our meatballs are cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare our lettuce. Now you definitely could use iceberg lettuce if you prefer, but I really like this kind of lettuce because it doesn't wilt as fast. And if you're taking this to a party, it might stay out on the buffet. You don't want something that's going to wilt right away. Now these meatballs were fully cooked. We really just had to heat them up. So once they are heated up, I can go ahead and build this hors d'oeuvre. And I'm going to build these in reverse. So I'm gonna start with my cherry tomato. Then I'm gonna add my baby pickle. Now these are dill pickles because that's what I prefer, but you can use any you like. Next, I'm going to add my cheese and I'm actually taking two of these squares of cheese just so it's a little bit more substantial on my skewer. Next, I'm going to add the lettuce. And lastly, I'm going to add my meatball. Now at this point, the meatballs are still warm, so you definitely could serve this warm or a room temperature is just fine too. These would be excellent served with a fry sauce. You know, you just take a little bit of ketchup and mayonnaise, a little bit of pickle juice and mix it up together. It would make a really good dipping sauce for these. And there you have it, easy cheeseburger bites, perfect for any party or gathering. Now, if you enjoyed this video today, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. If you'd like to see more delicious, easy recipes from me, you can do that by clicking on the link up here or down there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.